Hello everyone. Uh, today I will talk about managed Kubernetes service for public cloud with OpenStack and Kubernetes. And this is a case study we deploy a service for a public cloud in Vietnam. So this is a agenda of my talk. So the first one I will talk about why do we need a managed Kubernetes service. And the second one is problem with other solution. We, we can build managed Kubernetes service. And next, uh, I will present about our managed Kubernetes service architecture. And the last one is Q&A. So why do we need uh, managed Kubernetes service? As you know, uh, the rate of Kubernetes adoption in enterprise and company and everyone talk about container and quality how deploy service in quality and how to containerize the uh, application and so this is um, a, a point for us to build uh, managed quality service and the next reason is uh, our customer asked us about container service so because uh, there's you no know, Vietnamese cloud provider provide the quality service at that time so we we are the first uh, cloud provider in Vietnam we provide uh, uh, quality service and uh, the last reason is managed quality service will reduce the cost of operation for DevOps engineer SIE and uh, and we can uh, leverage uh, managed quality service for um, our deployment and you know uh, the leading leading managed quality service product uh, we have uh, ZKE from Google Cloud Provider, AKS from Microsoft Azure, EKS from AWS, and they have uh, some very basic feature: uh, create and deploy quality cluster in minutes, and uh, manage node pool with mixed flavor or instant time. They also provide cluster upgrade capability and we can uh, recycle a node in cluster. Recycle, recycle load in cluster means uh, we can replace a uh, fail node or um, error node in cluster with a healthy node. And the advanced uh, feature is uh, monitoring we, we, we can monitor the cluster with and the workload of the cluster and the next feature is auto scaling so with uh, run quality cluster in cloud we can auto scale worker node in based on some metric and the second session is problem with other solution you know uh, we we are the we used OpenStack for years so we will leverage uh, some projects in OpenStack and the first pro when we talk about quality service we always talk about OpenStack Magnum and the next solution is Rancher and Gardener and the, the newest uh, solution is One Infra uh, is uh, released recently so let's talk about OpenStack Magnum and we, we also researched on this project but uh, Magnum is not fully managed quality solution so when we define a cluster we need to 
uh, so magnum will provision provi provision uh, master node and worker node so user need to uh, manage master node so this this is not fully managed kvt solution and the second reason is magnum is not stable when provisioning cluster we 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 got uh, some errors we when uh, we create a new cluster and i i think the problem is uh, because uh, we use um, Fera atomic to create cluster and some uh, in some environment is not stable and the cluster is created by magnum takes so long so uh, it takes uh, 10 or even 15 minutes to create a cluster so we, we uh, after we researched on this project we skip on this and we we found rancher so but rancher is not solution to provide quality service be you know with the uh, rancher rancher version 2 and uh, we can connect uh, rancher with uh, quality uh, master so rancher will manage uh, multiple cluster but um, rancher use the uh, rke for provisioning quality cluster uh, rke use the uh, need to be uh, accessed to uh, each, each node in uh, the cluster because the it will uh, create uh, some um, process run 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 in a container and uh, and so this solution is not fully managed and we we skip this solution the next solution is gardener uh, after we study on this uh, project and we 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 found uh, it's a great uh, architecture. Your control plane of uh, quality cluster are managed by another quality cluster. It's called SIS cluster, and the cluster created by uh, Gardner is SHOOT cluster. And one issue we, we got is the after two months, we did not make it work because the, at that time uh, Gardener is just uh, released some version and I think it's uh, not stable and the our uh, almost like environment is quite different uh, to uh, that uh, environment so we drop it and uh, then we decide to um, build a, um, our solution and uh, we we learn from uh, gardener and uh, our architecture is quite similar to gardener and uh, we develop an orchestrator engine to provision managed quality master component and the customer quality control plane component are run on quality cluster including um, could, could be uh, API server, could be scheduler, cloud controller manager and quality dashboard this is our uh, architecture uh, you can see here where we this the uh, our orchestrator engine with uh, API and orchestrator, we call it the BKE and BKE orchestrator will connect to Quality Sys cluster to uh, create a 
quality control plane component and uh, the component the, the control plane component run in a uh, stateful set deployment in a uh, separate uh, namespace so we we also use the VPN server with uh, to connect uh, between uh, worker and uh, control plane you know uh, in uh, because the Kubernetes uh, Kubernetes API server need to access to Kubernetes on worker so in this environment we don't know uh, the Kubernetes Kube API server don't know how to get how to reach the Kubernetes so we we need to build a, a tunnel between a control plane and worker cluster so we used open vpn for this so the traffic between a control plane and a kubernetes will uh, go through a vpn tunnel and the the traffic between uh, uh, worker cluster port to port is the, through another network they will not go into a, a tunnel and with each uh, worker cluster we use the our auto scaling service this service is built beyond the uh, OpenStack sending and uh, so with we we need to define profile for each cluster and uh, we we create create cl cluster for each node pool in Kuwaiti so the end uh, to access to a uh, control plane we we for example we can use the kubi ctl to access to uh, a cluster in uh, in in run in, inside kubernetes cluster so we use the ha proxy ingress controller so we use the SNI feature for routing the request to quality control plane in uh, so for example uh, we have a cluster with ID this, this ID and uh, we create a, a endpoint like this and inside HA proxy we will route this endpoint to uh, this cluster so for so each cluster will have a different ID with different endpoint and with the worker cluster as you know uh, we use the open state sending for um, to manage the worker cluster so uh, to uh, to trigger an auto scaling to uh, a worker cluster, we use the our in-house solution. We we will monitor uh, the cluster because each cluster will have um, cluster ID. So we we calculate the average uh, measurement you know, for each cluster. If the user define a uh, threshold for to trigger to increase or decrease number of nodes in quit uh, worker cluster we will trigger we call to uh, OpenStack sending to increase node or uh, decrease node so and the next one is uh, because uh, we uh, we cannot use the the 
native OpenStack API for end user. So uh, we have a uh, we have a business layer API here. So the end user will interact with our cloud through uh, the a uh, middleware API. Like uh, the the middleware API will include some business logic and. So we cannot use the the cloud controller uh, from OpenStack anymore, and we we need to develop the the cloud controller manager and CNI to use the load balancer, persistent volume, and for in inside the Quity cluster. So after we we build the managed Quity service we we have some um, lesson learned and WAGAC is not working as expected the first version we used uh, WAGAC but uh, the the WAGAC is not working as uh, we expected the some traffic from uh, uh, control plane go to uh, Kubernetes is uh, wrong round and the second lesson is the recycle load feature we will uh, replay the current node with a new one so the the server ID is changed but provider ID in quality is not changed so in this case we need to uh, remove the node in uh, quality cluster then we then we uh, we will uh, join the node again so q and a